Sir Jim Ratcliffe has already made Kylian Mbappe Manchester United transfer stance clear the Paris Saint-Germain star. Will leave the French giants this summer and Sir Jim Ratcliffe is not interested in bringing him to Old Trafford Kylian Mbappe. Will depart PSG at the end of the season Manchester United co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe has already made his transfer stance clear on departing Paris Saint-Germain star Kylian Mbappe. On Friday evening, the 25-year-old took to Instagram to announce his decision to depart the French giants at the end of the season. He will end a seven-year spell at the club, playing his final league game against Toulouse at Parc des Princes on Sunday. Sitting down to publicly explain his decision, he said, Hi everyone, it's Killian. I wanted to speak to you. I always said that I would speak to you when the time comes and so I wanted to announce to you all that it's my last year at Paris Saint-Germain. Despite not disclosing his next adventure, Mbappe is expected to join Real Madrid on a free transfer. With rumors surrounding his future earlier this season, Ratcliffe was adamant that it wouldn't be clever to buy the superstar. He told the Geraint Thomas Cycling Club podcast last month, I'd rather find the next Mbappe than spend a fortune trying to buy success. It's not that clever, is it, buying Mbappe, in a way? Anyone could figure that one out. Much more challenging is to find the next Mbappe or Jude Bellingham or the next Roy Keane. Asked how hands-on he will be, Ratcliffe added, we all talk on a daily basis. There's a group of us involved in Manchester United, but the two people most focused on it would be Dave and myself. We've now got Omar Barada, of course, who's on gardening leave at the moment, but he's become a big part of a trio when he settles in. He's come from Man City and will be the chief executive. Manchester United are competing with a number of admirers to sign Crystal Palace winger Michael Aulis in the summer transfer. Window The £60 million release clause written into the 22-year-old Selhurst Park contract will become active in the coming weeks. Members of the New Look Manchester United hierarchy have been keeping tabs on Aulis' performances during the closing stages of the campaign. Manchester United are among a number of clubs battling it out to land Michael Aulis after new board members from Ineos have already been tracking the Crystal Palace star ahead of potentially luring him to Old Trafford during the summer. According to transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, the Red Devils entered a new era when Sir Jim Ratcliffe completed his purchase of a 25% stake in the club in February allowing him to take control of football operations following lengthy negotiations with the Glazer family, and he is looking to make his mark ahead of the 2024-25 campaign getting underway. Eric Ten Hag's future is in doubt, thanks to new technical director Jason Wilcox running the rule over whether the Dutch tactician deserves to stay in the job. After falling behind in the race to bag a Champions League qualification spot, but that has not stopped Manchester United eyeing acquisitions. Red Devils firmly in race to seal summer deal for Aulis Ratcliffe could take advantage of release clause Manchester United. Are fighting with a host of clubs to acquire Aulis, according to Italian. Journalist Romano after being made aware that the £60 million release clause written into his Crystal Palace contract will become active when the transfer window reopens for business in the coming weeks. The respected reporter suggests that Ratcliffe and other key decision-makers have been keeping tabs on the winger, who has found the back of the net seven times and registered a further four assists during an injury-hit campaign, and they have been informed of what it would take to win the race. 4. His signature, taking to social media platform X on Sunday morning, Romano wrote, Manchester United remain one of several clubs in the race for Michael Aulis, as release clause in region of £60 million will be active this summer. 
Ineos people already tracking him, well informed on all details but also aware of competition. He's one of the names monitored. Manchester United will fancy their chances of fighting off rival interested parties during the summer as reputable journalist. Ben Jacobs previously told Gimsport that Aulis is tempted by the prospect of a move to Old Trafford after becoming one of the first names on the team sheet at Crystal Palace. Michael Aulis has got his name on the score sheet once in three outings against Manchester United, but he is still waiting for his first win when taking on the Red Devils but he has previously turned down the opportunity to embark on a fresh challenge, with Chelsea being left frustrated after the France under-21 international snubbed the chance to head to Stamford Bridge and decided to pen a new contract with his current employers, despite them meeting the £35 million release clause written into his deal last August. Michael Aulis' statistical averages per 90 minutes this season compared to Anthony, although Aulis still has three years, remaining on his Crystal Palace agreement, which allows him to pocket £100,000 per week. The South Londoners will be left helpless if Manchester United trigger the release clause written into his contract when the transfer window reopens in the coming weeks. It is understood that the Eagles will not entertain offloading their 22-year-old talisman for less than the £60 million mark as they are in a sound financial position and do not necessarily want to see him walk away from Selhurst Park ahead of Oliver Glasner's first full season at the helm. Man United have definite interest in deal to sign Michael Aulis. Manchester United have a definite interest in Crystal Palace winger Michael Aulis. As TalkSport reporter Alex Crook provides an internal transfer update from Old Trafford, Eric Ten Hag hopes that the arrival of minority shareholder Sir Jim Ratcliffe will provide him with a boost during the 2024 winter transfer window as the Red Devils look to get their struggling campaign back on track. Aulis has attracted the attention of several Premier League giants during the 2023-24 season and could become the subject of a transfer saga before the market's February 1st deadline. Man United have endured a tumultuous season both on and off the pitch and hope that several astute signings will turn the focus back onto improving Ten Hag's chances of competing for trophies regularly. Man United a potential destination for Aulis during August 2023, Crystal Palace look to have secured Aulis' long-term future at Selhurst Park after the winger. Penned a new deal. The 22-year-old snubbed Premier League giants Chelsea, who had activated his £35 million release clause in his old contract. Aulis would sign terms on a new four-year deal, dismissing any speculation over his immediate future, with Palace still reeling from the departure of Wilfried Zaha at the end of his contract in June 2023. However, the 2023-24 campaign has proved stop-start for the France U21 international, who suffered a severe hamstring injury last summer. The speedster would eventually make his return in a 3-2 home defeat to Everton in November 2023, but will miss the remainder of Palace's January fixtures after suffering another injury in the same area. But that setback hasn't turned Manchester United away from his services, who could be willing to part with one of their first team players to secure Aulis' signature. According to the Daily Star, the Red Devils could offer former Palace defender Aaron Wan-Bissaka in a potential swap deal to lure the South London outfit into parting ways with Aulis. Palace have been credited with an interest in signing the fullback, with United prepared to lose the right-footed defender in a bid to secure the future of Aulis, the Eagles' wide man, described as unstoppable by Talksport pundit Darren Bent, is thought to have a release clause in his contract, rumored to be worth 60.